Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armor 3 Eden Editor tutorial for you. This one's an extension, I guess, to the one I did a while ago about having text pop up in your mission. Um, I've discovered a better way to handle this and this will add a little fancy bling to your missions. So this one is a little bit more complicated than my normal tutorials in that it uses uh, a script file, an SQF file. So firstly I'll show you what it does and then I'll show you how to do it. What this script does is it will pop up text in the middle of the screen with whatever text you want. In this case I've put um, the name of the mission and myself as the author of the mission. And it should pop up. There we go. Feast of Wire by OCB Valor. You'll notice that the um, tagline underneath will disappear first and then the name of the mission or the main text will then disappear. This is done with an SQF script and I'll show you how to achieve this. So what we're going to do is go into the mission folder itself where you've saved the mission. So in documents, armor three other profiles, your playing name, MP missions and then the name of the mission is Feast of Wire and the map is Hell's Kitchen. In here you can see I use a lot of scripts but the one I'm interested in at the moment is called introtext.sqf so we're going to open that one up and here we have the script that makes it work. We have a text layer um, which is a size configuration and then a BIS function um, RSC layer we have another one here so they're the size of the text so sec text 5 and text 6 sizes then a few other things here that I'm not going to go into but what we need to pay attention to here is we have here the name of the mission Feast of Wire and you'll notice it's got a um, it's got um, double inverted commas, then single inverted commas, then the name. And for the next line of text, we have here by OCB Valor. And that's just got single correction, double inverted commas around it. Um, we can actually use a picture as well with this, but I've left that out for the purposes of this demonstration. So I will post all of this text in the um, description below so that you can use that in your mission. Now to make this work, this text file or the SQF file needs to be in your mission folder. You'll know you're in your mission folder when you see the mission SQM file. Okay, so they've got to be in the same one. You can put it in a folder, but then you've got to call the folder um, in the script and it's easier for this demonstration just to use um, just to put it into the mission folder so I'll show you now how to make that work inside your mission using a trigger okay to use this for a task I've opened the script again um, and I've renamed it to task1.sqf and here I have the task name, Recapture the Power Station. Um, I have down here, Clear All Enemy Forces. So that's the main text that will appear on the screen. And now you'll note before with the other text file, or the SQF file, I had two forward slashes here. That means that it's uncommented and it won't run when the script runs. But if I take those out, I can then use this line as well. And this will pop up a box in the top right hand corner of the screen and I've just put the text in here enemy infantry hold the area and here I'll just change that file name to folder name to images so images forward slash Taliban dot jpg now if I go back to my mission folder you'll see I've got a file a folder called images and in that I have a picture named Taliban dot jpg so when this script runs, not only will it bring up the text on the screen, but it will also bring up um, 
the image that you specify in this line here. Once again, I'll put all this in the description below so you don't have to type all of this stuff. And I'll show you how that one works. Okay, so we're back in the editor. Now we still have our trigger there with the intro text SQF command, um, which is this one here. Now for this next one, this trigger here assigns our group to the first task, which is out there. So if we open this one up, you'll see that I have activation any player present, and I've put in there exec vm in, 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 in inverted commas task1.sqf. Okay, so that will fire when the task is assigned. One thing you also need to change is in the task itself, if you just want to use the text that comes up in the middle of the screen from the SQF file, in your task you'll see show notification, uncheck that box. Otherwise you will get not only the text that pops up, but the uh, standard generic armor notification for a task as well. Now in my SQF file, I possibly, the first line was uh, recapture the power station. That text may be too long because armor doesn't deal with lengths of texts very well, um, but it'll pop up and you'll also see the image in the top right hand corner pop up and I'll show you how that. Okay, so we'll have the sample mission text or whatever text you want to put in there. Um, and you can put the tagline down the bottom as whatever you like. And shortly we'll have the name of the mission pop up on the screen as well. Or the name of the task. Recapture the power station. And as you can see, the clear all enemy forces in, is in the wrong spot. So you can just take that out. I'm not sure how to move that. And you've got the image at the top right. And that's whatever image that you want to put in there. That too, along with the name, will eventually fade. Just adds a little bit of extra bling to your mission. And there you go, the um, picture itself also has faded. Uh, so that's how you do that one. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and if you like this video, you got something out of it, please uh, give us a like, a share and a subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.